Well, connecting with your doctor over Zoom is common in a post-COVID world, but 20 years ago, there was no such thing as telehealth care. That is until one doctor from UNM took a calculated risk to bring cutting edge care to remote corners of our state. News 13's Chad Brummett reports for the new series, New Mexico Frontiers. A 2020 study published in the Journal for Virus Eradication found that a stunning 96% of participants in Uganda had an active hepatitis C infection. The viral infection can often go undiagnosed because many of those infected won't have any symptoms at first. However, without treatment, it can lead to serious liver damage and even death. Such was the case for a patient of Dr. Sanjeev Arora, a distinguished and regents professor of medicine at UNM. So I had one patient um, who got me really thinking about the problem of uh, hepatitis C and the enormous number of deaths it was causing in New Mexico. Dr. Aurora was treating the 43-year-old widow and mother of two in the early 2000s. New Mexico's rural landscape and lack of expertise in specialized fields presented a very real problem for health care in the state, particularly with the viral infection. But the real challenge I was facing was that there were 28,000 hepatitis C patients in New Mexico and only 1,500 had been treated. After her passing, Dr. Aurora, using his own resources, established something we now all take for granted, telehealth video conferencing. Very closely mimics. Thus, Project ECHO was born. A typical hospital will host physicians rounds at least once a day. While they're there, doctors and specialists will interact directly with nurses, patients, and primary care doctors to discuss details of patients' cases. So essentially, the way we make specialists in the United States is through case-based learning and guided practice. Project ECHO takes this model of learning and medical discovery to the internet, providing remote discussions of anonymous cases from around the world with teams of specialists right here in New Mexico. Being able to reach patients in the most remote parts of the state, the country, and the globe means shorter wait times for patient care and better outcomes with their health challenges. We found that in one year they became great experts. And in 18 months, the wait in my clinic fell from eight months to two weeks. And anyone in New Mexico could get treatment close to their home. Project ECHO got its big break in 2011 when a groundbreaking paper was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, one of the premier medical publications in the world. The paper demonstrated that rural physicians could give chemotherapy-like regimens to their patients, producing similar results to that of university specialists being on site. The paper came out in the middle of the night on the web in 2011 and when I got up in the morning, I had emails from all over the world telling me, you know, we also want to replicate this model in our country. Over the years, tens of thousands of doctors from around the globe have been able to bring specialized treatment to their patients. With nearly 200 countries now participating in Project ECHO, places like Uganda now have better tools to fight infections and disease like Hep C. And while Project ECHO's current outreach is impressive, according to Dr. Aurora, it's only the beginning. We want to change the world and we want to improve the lives of one billion people by 2025. And we are well on our way. Project ECHO will be celebrating its 20th anniversary at the Meta ECHO 2023 Global Conference in September. That event will feature keynote speakers, discussions of sustainable progress in their model and the first ever ECHO Excellence Awards.